please welcome to the awesome Sanya Zugovic, outstanding Muay Thai fighter, two at one from Serbia. Sanya has to use her wrestling to dictate where the fight goes. She doesn't want to be in the ground. She's not as well versed in TJJ, but she has, but she has good leg kicks. She wants to slow down her opponent. And she also wants to work the body, go to the body, exhaust her, get her tired, beat her up. Now these, look, these girls look totally different from the way in. They were all sporting nightclub apparel. Very, very beautiful women outside of the ring. Very, very tough women inside of the ring. Joining me at the broadcast table, CEO of the Super Fight League, Ken Fabia. Ken, we're seeing a great show live here tonight. Production levels like I haven't seen in a long, long time. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling tonight? Boy, what an exciting evening here in Mumbai, India. It really is a pleasure and an honor to bring MMA to this new area. The fans seem to really be excited about this fight. to the cage. Little and here she is. We heard her compared. They were calling her the fifth element. Maybe that's her new nickname. Looks like Mila Jovovich. Very, very beautiful, piercing eyes. Lena, the hunter, as she's called. Alina needs to use the footwork. She has to work off the jab. And she has really good judo and an advantage in the jits department. She should use the judo to get this fight to the ground and look to secure a submission victory. I've been a long time proponent of women's MMA. Ken Bobby did an unbelievable job fighting these girls. Two of the best looking fighters I've seen. Our tale of the day, both identical in age, nearly identical in weight. A big height advantage for Lena, and an experience advantage as well as she brings an 8-0 record inside the Ozone here tonight. All of Bollywood royalty in the crowd tonight. Both women extremely confident. I expect this fight to be a kickboxing match. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen for the, the first, first time, time in India's history, history female MMA pro fight. Introducing first, first on my left, left fighting out of the blue corner. Her, her official, official weight, 52, 52 kilos. kilos. Her style is Muay Thai, and she's professional record three fouls, two victories, and one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing from Cuba, Serbia, Sonia Sukaric. And she's the ball that across the cage, fighting up to the red corner. She's a visual weight, 54 kilos. Her style is MMA, K1, and Thai kickboxing. She has perfect professional record. Eight pounds, eight victories, including six wins, coming by way of Macau. Ladies and gentlemen, from me, if you pray, representing the NFL on the field, Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Just keep it clean. Touch them up. The ladies didn't look like they were too happy to touch gloves there. This is a big, big stage to perform on here in the SFL. The first inaugural event, the first women's fight. Ready, ready, 
to it. Both girls are pretty easy on the eyes. This is a fun fight to watch. They definitely are. They were getting a lot, a lot of camera flashes around them yesterday at the weigh-ins. Over 2,800 people attended the weigh-ins. Oh, simultaneous leg kicks. And the girls really did steal the show. You know, you expect a lot of these more experienced guys to get the attention, but these two girls, they're warriors, and, and the media really took to them yesterday at the weigh-ins. And they don't get the avenue to compete like, nice judo throw. Very, very nice. Right to mount. You can see her advantage on the ground right there, right to the mount after the judo throw. Now this is not something I would have expected because both these girls are classically trained in Muay Thai and kickboxing, but we see the girls equally as comfortable on the ground, it appears. Well, and at least one of them is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we were told of her extent. Oh! And there's the armbar. She has won several bouts with the armbar, but she floats over. Her arm is completely out of danger at this point. She needs to either stand or re-guard. Nice job by Sonya, escaping an armbar, not, not, not panicking. It looks like she's going for a guillotine choke here. I don't know how tight it could be. Truly good de armbar defense there. I was very surprised that she was able to maneuver like that. Look at the strength of these small women. Not an, not an ounce of fat on either. Maybe going switch for it for a leg lock. Yeah. Some high level jujitsu here. She also has the, that right arm tied up, going for a oh. shoulder lock and transitioning. To the armbar. Slam on the head. By Helena. She's yeah, in she, trouble here. Her arm's out of danger. She had more of a, a shoulder lock than an armbar. Looks like she's trying to force the armbar to pull the arm up higher. Yes, yeah, she get the elbow between her legs. She's, she needs to turn that thumb around. She, she's not getting the arm bar there. She's going to get out of this. She needs to suck her arm out. Sticks her head back in. Sign needs to look to go for a triangle here. Nice scramble. And now the, the Indian crowd starting to respond and applaud. And once again, Ken, as I said, I've been a big proponent, a big backer of, of women's fighting. Sonya now mounts up. Jeff, often the women steal the show because it seems like they have so much to prove. And oh. often they give it up, they give it the raw. They don't fight just to not lose. They fight to win the fight. Yeah, so this they, is no fight, example. they yeah. fight to win. They don't have the avenues. And, and I'm sure they're very gracious towards you and uh, Raj for giving them this opportunity. And they're going to let it all hang out. And I know they both want to stand back up. Lena back in Sonya's guard. Nice mount escape there. And now on Not top. Good. It's difficult enough for these girls to find work uh, as female fighters, but it's particularly difficult in the European market. So we at the Super Fight League hope, hope to offer these opportunities. And with leg locks like <laughs> this, with jujitsu like this from kickboxers, wow. This is something that, that even a fight fan has to appreciate. Yeah, she's trying to roll through it. She's, she's oh, here we go. Back up on the feet once again. Nice knee to the body by Lena. Yes, Sonya uh, cites her aggressiveness as one of the keys to win. Says her wrestling is better than her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, she needs to use it here and keep this fight on her feet. It looks like Lena did have the advantage on the ground. Yeah, let's keep in mind she also took this fight on six days notice. But she said she twice a day, trains twice a day at all the times and she was in shape. Tell you what, guys, I don't know who's winning this, this round. This is such a back and forth round with so much positive aggression on both sides. This is a tough round to score. I think Lena might have a position to control with, with the mount, maybe, yeah. to give her the advantage. But very it's close worked. round, as you, as you said. And it could easily be won right here with a minute remaining. It's worked. Oh, nice knee to the midsection. Well, the Super Fight League is very excited to have it's these worked. females. We're going to be very, we're going to be motivated to, to bring females to every one of our events. We're scheduling a female fight on every one of the seven cards that we're going to feature this year. Nice He's wrestling there by Sonya. Ending up on top with a half Nelson. Old school wrestling. And she needs to let go of that head. Oh, there nice. it gets her over. I take that back. I stand corrected. This is a rough fight. This is a grueling fight. So this fight might come down to conditioning. Final 10 seconds, you see the judo coming into play. She's giving up her back, but she also has the head locked as well, so neither is gonna be able to score. 
Oh. Any kind of submission as we end round number one. Little bit of blood coming out of Lena's mouth. Sign is also cutting them out. A back and forth seesaw battle in this first round. As the horn's starting to come out, that's also a, a new aspect we're not used to here. Let's take a look at some replays, Phil. Both girls exchange kicks. And here's the nice judo throw. Boom, right to mount. Went for the armbar. She has six victories by armbar. It looked deep here for a second. Then while, using, while on top, using the power to slam out of her armbar herself. Are we watching a girls' fight or are we watching old Rampage and Pride? <laughs> <laughs> Slam, page. Yeah, the big slam. That, that, that's not an easy thing to do. I can't imagine, you know, you, you view these women as kind of, you know, not, not big and muscular and tough, but, but they are strong. I mean, I'm, I'm envious of the abs here. Come on. Absolutely. A lot of hard work in the gym has been put in preparation for this fight. Round number two. Seesaw battle. In round number one, not sure who to give it to. Let's see if this fight stays on the feet now. Both ladies exchanging kicks. Oh, oh nice. And a smile back from Sadia, acknowledging the high kick. Nice tee by Lena. I would like to see this fight stand. I, I think they're both comfortable on the ground as we've seen a lot of transitions. Oh, nice clinch, nice knees by Lena. And another judo throw. She is very proficient in judo. She has a lot of wins by armbar. That being said, she seems to be getting the best of the stand-up, so I'm surprised that she's so anxious to take the fight to the ground because when they do exchange, she seems to be the dominant fighter. She's comfortable on the ground. She, I think she feels her advantage is a lot safer than she's not gonna take do any shots. Knee. Watch that knee. With the popularity of Ronda Rousey. And, and, you know, same thing here. We have a girl who scores armbar after armbar after armbar. I believe judo is quickly becoming a bigger part of mixed martial arts as we see her pass the guard and establish side control. And into full mount. There you go. Let's see what she does with this now. I think she's looking for an armbar. Kind of reminds me of a Japanese crowd with horns. Yeah. You know, they're, they're kind of kind of laid back. They wait for something big to happen. And then they cheer. But Yeah, they cheer. Indiscriminately beep that horn. Oh, There's the armbar arm arm. again. Beautifully done. Oh. That is tight. She's spinning through nice it, though. Nice escape, though. Nice defense. Nice. Sign with the escape on top. Well, a lot of us naive North Americans forget that India is actually part of Asia. So you have similar cultures, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know? They keep saying, oh, you're going to the Middle East. I'm like, no, I'm going to Asia. <laughs> Sonia very skillfully transitioned to the back. It becomes a hand fight now. She's got to make sure that the rear naked choke doesn't get sunk. Both hooks are in. She has her hands oh, in a very, that, very that bad position. Sunk. She it's needs sunk. to pull that one hand down. She needs to, to, to stop that, and that's it. Sonia with the upset win. Rear naked choke submission. Lena fought it as long as she could when she went belly down. After eight consecutive wins, Lena takes defeat for the first time. Wow. Ken, you're right. Lena should have kept it on the feet. And there's some personal pride on Asanya yelling Serbia. As we look at some replays, a beautiful judo throw by Lena. And there we see the armbar. I thought the fight was over here. It looked deep, but she escaped, and she ended up on the back of Lena. And Sanya, once she had the hooks, and hooks in, the opponent bellied out, she, she squeezed. I think the mistake that Lena made this fight was her willingness to go to the ground, because 
she did struggle on the ground against Sonya, on, and, and when they were standing, Lena looked to have a clear advantage. Get up. There we go up for the official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time. Two minutes and 28 seconds of round number two. And your winner by submission, Rear Nick Show, Sanya Sukhani! Sanya Sukhani victorious. A back and forth seesaw battle. But it's the Serbian who comes out victorious tonight. A great women's fight tonight, Ken. We thank you for allowing the women to come here to the Super Fight League. Good job finding them and picking them out. Well, I think this is gonna be the first of what many. Women always seem to steal the show when they're on men's cards. They have a lot to prove.